Hello, I'm Gene Kareen with Imagine It, and I'd like to go over with you how to split a schedule up onto a number of different sheets if the schedule is too big for one sheet or if the schedule, if you just want it, different parts of the schedule on different sheets. And we're going to use the project that's in the uh, Revit 2011 Fundamentals, the eight story um, hotel. Uh, obviously it's got a bunch of doors in it. It's not a big hotel, but it has a number of doors in it. And so we're going to use the, the door schedule as, as a way of taking a look at what will happen. So if I go to the door schedule, I'll find my doors here starting on the first floor 101 and going all the way up to the eighth floor. And it's a pretty long door schedule. All right. Um, I want to just open up this one column a, sh a little bit because it has the family and type in it and I, w I want that to be big enough to uh, be seen all the way across like that. And we notice this is a fairly generic type of door schedule with uh, not everything filled out yet but at least some of the information is there. So let's take this door schedule now and, um, and put it on a sheet. So um, I will go down here to my sheet list and uh, short way down on my sheet list I will find my schedule sheets and we're going to put this on schedule 8.2 or sheet 8.2 of the schedules. So there's, there's my sheet and now I'll go back to my uh, where is it? To my door schedule there it is and I'll grab that door schedule and bring it down and of course it's not going to fit on the sheet and and here's something that always comes up remember you know ZF is zoom full so if you ever want to see the whole thing just keyboard shortcuts ZF so here's my uh, um, schedule and if I split that schedule in two it we can see there's no way this schedule is going to fit on a sheet of paper all right um, even if we make it smaller or fool with it a little bit it's still not going to fit on a sheet of paper so what can we do with it well let's go back to the door schedule itself and and let's look in to the properties of that schedule um, and the property that we want to look at is filters and we'll notice that while there was a filter set up once upon a time it looks like it's not really being used and it's filtering by the mark and it does not equal okay so um, let's put one in that says um, the door mark that's the tag number the door mark um, is less than and here are my all my doors in here so I'll, I'll put in less than 301. So what this is going to do now is it's going to create a schedule that is first floor and second floor. Well, that should fit pretty nicely on my sheet. So let me go back down to my A8.3 sheet. And put this schedule on it. and I'll see that it fits pretty nicely. Here's something people ask a lot too. How do I put this back together if it's split? If you grab the little plus sign that's in the middle and bring it over and just drop it, it'll put it all back together. So I can see that two stories, two floors worth of, of door information is going to easily fit on a sheet. Maybe I can get that third one in there, but I have to wait and see. But now what do I do about the rest? All I have is one door schedule. So I'm going to right click on this door schedule and I'm going to copy it to clipboard. And then after I do, I'm going to right click on it once again and I'm going to rename it door schedule uh, first and second floor. So there's my door schedule, first and second floor. 
And now I'm just going to go up to any uh, generic view. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I could go to my generic 3D view. And I'm going to click Paste. And when I do that, it's going to paste this schedule back in my browser for me as a new schedule. So now I have my door first and second, and here's the door schedule I just put in. So I'll rename that one. All right. And um, so this one is going to be door schedule uh, third, right? And fourth. And say OK. And there's my door schedule third and fourth. And now what I'm going to do is go down to my uh, filters on this. And door mark. And so we're going to have to say is so we're going to have to set up the filters for our 300 and 400 level doors. So we're going to say the mark is greater than, and we'll pick that top door on the second floor, and that's going to be uh, 233. So it's greater than 233, and the door mark is. Uh, less than is less than and of course here we'll go the door mark is less than and here we'll go to the 500 level door 501 and we'll say okay and now we have a schedule with doors uh, 300 and 400 on them and again we can put this on another sheet and we can just keep doing this as long as we want to we can we can keep pasting this schedule and and do the next one and whatever we however we want to organize them they're still 100% parametric to the model so if we change a door here in in this schedule it's going to change in the model and um, the the only thing is now we're going to have a little bit longer list of door schedules but they're going to fit wherever we want to so again the process is pretty simple you right click and you copy the clipboard in order to paste it you have to be in another view so I can go into a floor plan view for instance to paste it you paste that back into your browser as a new schedule and it will come in as a new schedule and then you apply the filter that you need to filter out or in exactly what you want in the schedule that's all there is to it